Hey YouTube, it's Lex. Um, I'm making this video because I got a message. Um, it's actually 3.47 in the morning. But I got a message um, in my email from somebody on YouTube that says, Hey, I hope that this is not weird or creepy in any way, but I'm... I'm having trouble on making this decision to do a gastric bypass. I'd like to know your story and why you have decided to commit to this. So yeah, um, I'm making a video to reply to that. Um, um, sorry you guys, I just got this. Um, okay, so my story. Okay, um, you guys know I'm 19. I'm a college student. I have been obese my whole life um, since I was a child. Um, and I've been, um, I struggled with, I'm sure everybody did, but I struggled with my self-esteem when I was younger in like middle school. But then I had some, some sort of breakthrough at the beginning of high school and I just started loving myself and my body and I just got used to it. Um, and I'm known as one of the confident ones in my group of friends, I guess you can say. Um, not on purpose, but just because um, that's just how I've, how I've always thought of things. Um, so I got to love my body, and I was completely okay with it. But um, I started going to the doctor, and um, I would have, like, little problems, like my back hurts, my knees hurt. Um, and they would start to tell me that it was because of my weight, like my, and sorry for any man, men watching this, but my cramps are bad. They were like, it's because you're overweight. My feet, my back hurt. It's because you're overweight. Um, just basically everything. And one big breakthrough for me was, um, I was in the emergency room cause I had hurt my foot and the woman was telling me that, um, Whatever that was wrong was wrong because I had diabetes. Now, I don't have diabetes. And I told her that. And um, she just continued to insist that that was because of what it was. And I don't have diabetes as far as I know. But um, it was kind of an eye-opener to me that I'm like, it could be any day that I could have diabetes or any, any other type of um, health issues. And I really, really love my body. I love how I am. I love how I look. I love how I feel. But I'm also way less healthy than I should be. And I'd rather be healthy than and get used to my new body than to stay how I am and um, be unhealthy. So that's why. Um, and I guess... Like, you kind of have to ask yourself, like, am I so comfortable with my body or am I so scared to change it because this is how I've been for a long time? Probably. Um, so, like, and I struggle with that. I have another video that says, I'm, I think it's called I'm Scared Rant. Um, I get so scared sometimes because, like, and I know it might sound stupid to some people, but what if I don't look as cute? Like, what if I'm less cute than I was like this? Or what if I don't like my new body? Like, what if I lose my boobs? What if I lose my butt? What if I'm shaped weird? What am I going to do with all this extra skin? Like, all of this. And all of these questions. So, but, like, you kind of just have to, like, stay positive and know that you're doing it for a reason. And know that you're doing it for your health. Um... Sorry if I'm ranting again. Um, I, I'm going to call this video Why Rant. <laughs> um, okay, so I decided on the gastric bypass because I went to, and anybody, I'm pretty sure anybody who um, decides to have weight loss surgery has to go to this seminar where they will break down three um, three surgeries for you. The lap band, which is originally what I thought I wanted. The gastric bypass, and I believe it's called the gastric sleeve. So I went to this um, seminar. It was like two and a half hours. I was with my mother. And um, I don't have anything against the lap band surgery. But um, when you kind of listen to all of the different 
um, aspects of all the surgery, I figured out that um, the gastric bypass would be best for me. With um, the lap band, um, it's basically just a band around your stomach that um, stuff could still slip through. Like, so if you eat greasy foods and stuff like that, like, it'll just slip through the band, which is kind of pointless to me. Um, uh, but with the gastric bypass, um, they say 80%, and I'm not counting on this, but they say, like, I believe it's, like, 80% of people, um, develop this, this, um, thing called dumping syndrome, which is basically if you eat anything that's high in grease or sugar or spice or anything like that, you get really, 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 really sick. Um, and also with the lap band, um, like you have to get these fills every month, which are injections into like this tube that's in your stomach. Um, and I don't like needles. Um, and they said, <clears throat> Also, with it being a foreign body in your in your body, there's a likely chance not a likely chance, but there's a chance that your body could reject it. I don't like that either. Um, it's kind of like I started to look at it like, and this is my personal opinion. I started to look at it like the gastric bypass was like the real deal, and the um the lap band was kind of like the not the quick fix because they're both kind of quick fixes just not it didn't seem as sufficient and it didn't seem like it fit into my lifestyle um with having to have fills every month having to go back to the doctor every month which you still have to do for the first I think it's like six months of the gastric bypass but thinking about that for the rest of your life you're gonna have to continue to go back once every whatever to get a fill I just it it didn't seem like it would work for me so that's why I chose the gastric bypass um and I'm excited not excited you know what I mean like I'm I'm happy with my decision I think that that was the right decision um as I, I said before this is just me and my ignorance um when I first thought about gastric bypass I thought that it was like like, it was something that, like, people that were, like, three and 400 pounds overweight would get. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just, like, how I saw it on TV or what. I don't know. But that's just how I saw it. So, to actually go to the seminar and realize that people that are my weight and my size get gastric bypasses all the time. And it works really well for them. Um, it seemed good for me the only downside to me I'm sorry the only downside of the gastric bypass for me was the amount of vitamins that you have to take and I guess I should be taking vitamins now but I don't and all of the surgeries have to take vitamins but not as much as the gastric bypass and for the rest of your life but I mean you think about you're you're having this surgery to kickstart a new lifestyle and that's part of your new your new lifestyle so I guess I'll get used to it after a while um but you know you'd wish you didn't have to do that um one thing that I'm interested about seeing and I'm, it seems like I'm talking kind of long so I'm stopping a second one thing that I'm interested in seeing is how this um the oh my gosh how the um the diet works right after surgery. I think you're on, I don't have my paper with me, but I think you're on a liquid diet for like three weeks and then a pureed diet for like three weeks. But I'm still excited. I'm really, really excited. Um, so yeah, I think that was it. That This was my reply to that um, message. I hope I answered everything you wanted to know. If not, just send me another message and I'll make another video. Yeah. Okay. Good night, you guys.